sorry about that guys um somebody called in and stopped my recording um so i guess this is part two i lost what i was saying i'm getting texts from work it's distracting anyway my videos are all over the place ain't they well it comes my son again um let's go well i can't go until i put it in drive so yeah <coughs> me and my son here we were driving by the dealer one day I and, and uh he says we can't see him so we got to put him on and the car was there it was sexy <coughs> loved the color um and we stopped and looked at it and just played in my head played in my head i showed it to my wife it was like eh, she didn't say much about it and then I called in, made an appointment, went to see it, and walked out with it. I was there from like 7 o'clock to about 10.30 at night doing paperwork and, you know, stuff like that. The detail the car. Down. Yeah. Funny story, though. Once I, once I find out that, that I was getting the car, they pulled the car around for me to take it for a test drive. Right, Lou? Tell them what happened. What happened when that lady took brought the car around? When I when we got the car, what happened when we went and got the car? And the lady brought it around so that I could test drive it. Oh, she did a Not only did she do a burnout, he forgot. She spun out, oh, yeah. lost control of the car, and almost hit a Benny van and almost T-boned it at their parking lot. So it would have sucked because I was already approved. I financed it. I had put a down payment down. And she almost hit another car. So I almost didn't get the car. So anyway, um, I traded in. What's that? That's my other coach. <coughs> okay. Anyway, we um we did the paperwork. And how it works is I called them, told them I was interested in the car. They said they had a lot of people who were interested also, you know, to get down there. I mean, you know, sometimes it's just a ploy to get you down there. And something and it could not have been. You know, it's a very nice car. It's only there for a few days. So I brought like a stack of paperwork like this from my company, like, you know, W-2s and pay stubs and letter, whatever. You know, I've never bought a car from the dealer before. I just started working on my credit last year. I didn't even know that my credit score was over a seven. So, I give him my driver's license. The lady says, you want to take the car for a test drive? And I said, no, I don't want to take it for a test drive until I know that I can get the car. I don't want to be disappointed, right? You know, you take the car for a test drive and then they tell you, oh, you can't get the car. <laughs> that would have been really shitty, huh? So anyway, I gave him my driver's license. And I said, do you need this paperwork? And they said, no. So I was like, you don't need this paperwork? And they said, no, you're good. So, you know, it left me, you know, you know, happy and wondering like, hmm, you know, all right then, yeah, I got approved, you know? So then, you know, when we discussed the numbers and stuff, I put a down payment and I put, and I traded my car in so that it could be, they didn't give me a lot, give me a thousand bucks for the car on the, Kelly Blue Book, it was worth about four grand. I probably could have fought for a little more, but being though it was an old car, I didn't expect them to give me much for it anyway. And I didn't have time to sell it in the street, try to get more out of it. I wanted this car, so I got it. So, my payments with full coverage insurance, which I'm shopping for uh, different insurance, because the full coverage insurance is pretty high, you know, for where I live and I got a garage and I don't smoke or drink. My credit is good, I put a down payment. The car has factory alarm. I'm pretty sure it has a GPS tracker system from the dealer, they all put one on here. Every dealer has one, so if you think that that's not true, you're fooling yourself. Any car you buy from the dealer has a tracking system. So when they come to repair you, if you don't pay, they'll find the car. 
they're not just gonna, you know, go to your address. They're, they know they most likely won't be there. So if you're wondering how they find you, they don't just chase you all around all day and all night until they find you. They have GPS. So anyway, my insurance is about four hundred and thirty-seven dollars a month, and I pay nine hundred for the car a month. And that's a lot of money. So that was a nice one. I want to get a uh, better insurance, and then I actually want to pay a little bit more on the car, try to get it down, maybe contact them after a little bit, see what I can do to get those payments down. Um, if I, if at all possible. So it's a lot of bit, it's a lot of money to pay, but when you want something, you work hard for it, and you make it happen. There's no half stepping. You can't slack. You gotta work hard, and especially now because this is an added payment on top of my mortgage and all the stuff that I have going on. Going on. Now I only have one truck. I used to have six. I have one now, and it's just me driving it. But you know, I make pretty, pretty good money. Uh, I'm doing what I'm doing, and uh, I'm working towards building my company back up and getting more trucks on. So uh, in the future, it'll be easier, and I won't have to worry about you know the payments and stuff like. Right now, I do worry a little bit. So anyway, we're on the highway and uh, headed to work. Oh yeah, another one, nice. My son's always spotting chargers or challengers now. He loves the Tesla Model X. That's one of his dream cars. What else, what other cars you want? Tell him what other car you want. Model X. And what else? Uh, the new Corvette. Uh, he wants a new Corvette, the Model X, and what else? I want a he wants a Lamborghini. I love Bugattis. I have, I have like 20 of them in my GTA. He's in love with Bugatti. So he wants a Bugatti. And that... I watched a YouTube video last night. And this guy was taking his whole car collection to McDonald's. And the McDonald's workers were like, no way. And I'm like, man, that's a nice Bugatti. It was like this color of your car. Well, but he's got to work very hard. hard. So you have to stay in school. That's finish school. Hard. And learn a trade, be something, either be a truck driver and open up and, and become a you know a big company. Maybe you take over mine, or maybe you go into real estate. Real estate makes you know it's tricky, but if you do it right, a lot of people make a lot of money off of that. And if not, be a pitcher or, or quarterback, something, be the next Tom Brady, right? Not Tom Brady, the best quarterback ever. I hate him, but he's the best. Are gonna be a, if you're gonna aim to be somebody, be just like Tom Tom Brady. I say as long as, or you just aim to be like me and just work hard. Anyway, um, so yeah, he has big dreams, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing YouTube is for him, not for me. I was saying this in another video. Yeah, I want YouTube to be for him. I want him to not be afraid of talking the camera and just make videos whenever he's not doing nothing he should be making a video of whatever if he's playing the video game if he's driving his moped if he's being funny or whatever he needs to be videoing everything and just put it on it doesn't matter how good or bad it is just make a video put it up it only make him better over time so yeah i know we're not in the best camera angle here when I put the camera but that's the best I could do right now so anyway I had a lot of stuff going on trying to put up a pool that failed miserably and now I found another one uh, the same size that we're going to pick up uh, next Saturday and Hopefully make my wife happy again because she was really upset for her, for the kids and for herself because we put a lot of time and work into this and a lot of money and it, it went really bad so anyway soon we'll have more content with the car 
instead of just cold starts and showing you the interior, you know, I hadn't shown the interior really like that before or the engine. Um, oh, I showed the interior in the video. Yeah, he did. When we first got it, he, he made a couple videos and put them on TikTok. So anyway, guys, have a good day, stay safe, and work hard. And with that, to the next time, peace.